Hello and welcome to the 2012 Oilers football preview. I'm joined by head coach Rob Keyes. Rob, thanks for joining us. No problem. You know, you guys finished uh, last year with a 6-5 and five record. Uh, you exceeded many people's expectations. Uh, except ours. Except yours, that's right. Uh, you know, last year you ended the year with a 43-42 win in overtime at Wayne State, who we all know uh, reached the NCAA Division II title game. Um, does that win kind of build any momentum heading into this year? Yes and no. I think anytime you win a game like that and, you know, them having such great success and going to the national finals, it, it does allow your players to have a little more confidence. But, you know, 2011 is over. And I'm going to remind our team the first thing, first thing August 8th is it's over. 2011 is done. What you did last year really has no relevance or bearing on what's going to happen in 12. And uh, the thing it did, though, it did it produce some confidence and some belief you know, not only with the players, but in the staff. I think, you know, we understand now what it takes to beat a really good football team, and uh, hopefully we win, win a few more. Great. Now, you had to play a lot of freshmen last year. Uh, are you overly concerned about the so-called sophomore slump? There, there's a thing called sophomore <laughs> slump. I never heard of that. Uh, uh, not really. I mean, we played uh, 11 true freshmen last year, traveled 17. We're still very young. You know, if you look at our roster, we have 80% of our team, our first and second year players. So, you know, it really isn't about, I mean, no doubt, to win in this league and the thing, if you see the championship teams, they have senior leadership and they have great experience. And right now we have neither of those two qualities, but at the same time, you know, we're, we're gonna go out and hopefully every week give them a shot, so. Good. Now, offensively, you guys have um, really improved. You averaged over 29 points per game last year. Uh, the majority of your offense is coming back. Uh, you got to like the potential from that unit. Offensively, yeah, it's it's really, you know, there's such an advantage to, you know, familiarity. Everybody knows everyone. The staff has been with the team now since uh, last spring. We've had a chance to, you know, get to know one another. Uh, everybody's back on offense, but at the same time, we're very thin. I mean, yeah, we have we have a good 11 or 12 we can put out there, but. Uh, you know, to create that depth is the thing we need to really focus on offensively. But, uh, you know, who heads the offense? I mean, Monterey Williams is one of the better backs, not only in the league, but in the country. And it's good to have a guy like that, you know, carrying the ball 25, 30 times a game. Sure. Now, you know, speaking of Monterey, he, you know, he has a chance at the all-time rushing record here at Finley. You know, what do you think that means to him? And, you know, what do you think that will mean for your program? When you talk to Monterey, it means very little. You know, all he's about is winning. You know, he's gone through a lot in this program. You know, the year before he got here, you know, one in ten season, he struggled. He rushed well, but you know, didn't win any games, and it wasn't very satisfying. So, his biggest focus is winning, and, and that's what great players do. But uh, yeah, it would be nice. There's no doubt we're all competitive, and records are meant to be broken. And you know, hopefully he'll stay healthy and, and carry enough, you know, get enough yards yeah, and sure. carry enough times to, to break that record. I mean, it's been it's been here since 1979, so it's pretty old. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, defensively, you guys are once again going to field a, a unit that's, you know, young overall, but you do have veterans at all three levels. Uh, what, what, what can we expect defensively from that unit this year? Uh, you know, there's only one way to go defensively. I mean, last year we, we gave up around 30 points a game, so it's not nearly good enough to win this league. Yeah, we have to improve in all areas, you know, up front stopping the run in the pass game. Uh, you know, statistically, we didn't do as, as well as we'd like to. The one thing we did do is we, had, we created takeaways. And that keeps you in any game. You know, we did a great job uh, taking the ball away through the interceptions and forced fumbles. But you know, we lost a, a key player on defense, Isaiah Ballard, who was one of the better defensive players in the league. You know, he had six forced fumbles, ended up I think with 11 or 12 takeaways himself. So you know, the big thing is same thing on offense. We're very, very shallow on defense, and we have to we have to fill some holes. There'll be some young guys going to have to step in and play. Well, Coach, uh, thanks for spending some time with us and talking to Oilers football. Uh, that concludes the 2012 Oilers football season preview. Thanks for watching.